hey everyone so welcome back to the second part of this tutorial and it's been a while i created the first part but because of some reason i couldn't create the second part of this video so in the first part i have shown you how to purchase hosting domain and then connect both of them and install wordpress on it so if you have not watched that video and you want to learn how to install wordpress on godaddy managed hosting manage wordpress hosting then I would suggest you to watch, please watch that video. The link will be in the description and in the card. There should be some arrow pointing to that uh, video. So I would suggest you to first watch that. And after installing the uh, WordPress, um, you can start watching that video. So if you have already done that, um, let's continue. And I will uh, today I will show you how to uh, create an e-commerce store on this WordPress. So for this, what you have to do is um, first go to your WordPress dashboard and this is where I stopped my previous video. So let's continue from here and um, after that, after logging in, what you have to do is uh, first let's clear the junk. Um, so first go to all post here and let's delete this. So these are let's clear first the sample post and everything. Good. Let then again go secondly uh, go to the all pages and um, I, will, I will delete this okay now we are uh, this is just a draft so uh, there is no need to delete it you can edit it later and it will make your work easy so what you have to do second um, after doing this let's go to settings then go to general and here edit your site um, title if it is like wordpress or something generic uh, put a appropriate title here and um, it's kind of uh, appropriate for me um, the title here appropriate for my store uh, best wordpress guide store as my website name is bestwpguides.com so and um, you can also put a tagline here like um, find the best WordPress WP guides here or something like that but I do not want to do that so what I will do is um, leave it as default and um, make sure that this option is unticked anyone can register and then click on save changes okay now let's go to the uh, permalinks okay now make sure that uh, if any of the other option is selected make sure you uh, change it to post name type so this is the correct type and then once you have done that click on save changes okay now we have done some basic settings and okay now what you have to do is um, if there are too many plugins go check the install plugins list and um, you may want to delete some of the plugins you do not need okay like um, I do not need this plugin okay uh, this okay and let's delete it okay uh, I will delete it later so let's go to the dashboard here and make sure that everything is okay let's check our website right now once and see how it looks right now and you can see here this is how it looks right now okay now let's again go back to the dashboard and from here now go to appearance go to themes and here click on add new and now search uh, in the search bar type Astra and search for it and this is the plugin we need okay just install it and it will take a few seconds to for the installation process to complete okay so it's installed now so let's activate it and this plugin will automatically install everything that is required for the e-commerce store so we don't have to manually install every each and every plugin and once you have done that go here astra options in the left sidebar it should be here and uh, okay just click on it and on the right sidebar here click install importer plugin yeah let's check the details 
yeah okay let's install first install this yeah i plan to create this tutorial much before but um, then i some because of some reason i had to delay it and um okay so this is the correct option um uh, install the photo plugin and once you have done that there are a lot of you can see all the free templates available that this theme offers so they are also paid and both free, uh, kind of templates available free agency also what we want is free so let's sort it out filter all the free templates available and for let's say we want to create an e-commerce site so let's select the e-commerce category and you can see there are three uh, sorry five beautiful templates available for an e-commerce store and um, there are a lot there's a lot of variety that so um, you know for most kind of store you can use this templates customize it according to your needs so uh, and it's not like if it's a cosmetic store you can um, uh, you have to use it only for a cosmetic store products uh, kind of store you can customize it and um, you know you can sell other stuff um, anything like that like crafts or something okay and um, so for this example let's um, let's pick any theme um, let's um, let's select the first organic store or okay let's go with this cosmetic store one okay so you can see all the pages available page templates so this will be the home page and uh, there should be an option to preview it okay there's an uh, option to preview it here so you can see it uh, this is how your store will look okay i think this is a beautiful template and so let's install it and this is the testimonials page how it will look this will be the about page and contact page okay and um, so we have everything we need most of the thing that uh, we need for an, a simple e-commerce store okay and so then uh, click on this option import complete site and here select click on import okay this will take uh, again few seconds to for the import process to complete and with the uh, it will not just import the template it will also import all the required plugins for it so that's the best part about this and uh, it, so you don't have to manually install each and every plugin required so for this uh, we will be using the elementor builder um, sorry i think i missed to tell you that um, in the right side the right top here you can see uh, we are using the element we will use the elementor uh, builder for this site so it will automatically import an uh, elementor you can see here the current process going on that it imported elementor header and footer blocks and all the other necessary dependencies it will import all that stuff okay and um, then it imported the e-commerce store so again this will just take a few more seconds and um, if it takes too long i will fast forward it in the video and um, i do not think it will take too long so i'm not skipping it okay it has imported all the plugins and stuff and now it is actually importing the actual content and remember that this uh, tutorial is for godaddy's wordpress managed hosting and not shared hosting because the shared hosting is way too slow for any for running any e-commerce store so if you want something cheap um, you can try my other recommended hosting options um, but do not go buy the shared hosting from godaddy because uh, that can be slow and uh, especially for e-commerce kind of stuff okay.
okay hooray the website import process is complete and now let's view our website so if you remember this is how our website looked before and now let's see how it looks and it's completely changed isn't this is amazing that's just um, it well we, all you had to do is um, that was it we have created an e-commerce store now our website is a fully functional e-commerce store this is the home page okay and you can edit everything here and um, you can see all the products listed here you can see this um, it has an option to review and um, price let's click on it and you can see this is the product this is a sample product and you can add it to basket cart and everything here is editable you can edit anything okay and uh, if you want to change it to dollar you can do that and I will show you how to do that exactly and uh, so let's try buying this we have added it to our cart and you can see the message here let's go view the cart and you can see here that uh, it has all functionalities of an e-commerce tool like you can add coupons and everything okay and uh, then it will show you the subtotal everything okay then uh, if you want to we can also later change the quantity and then update basket so this will update the price and then proceed to checkout and then um, your customers will have to fill these details and um, then they will be able to buy place the order from here and um, okay now this is just a basic setup so uh, now we need to configure all the plugins so according to the region where you want to where your customers are where you want to sell your products for so like if you are in us you would want to all your products to show dollars instead of pounds and um, and depending on and then add tax rules and everything so you will have to configure the plugins for that and but you can see uh, there are all the options are you can edit uh, uh, your address here your contact info and number and um, then from here you can um, they are you can also customize those pages you can make custom pages for the all these options okay and um, uh, okay like if you want to edit it you can just go from here click on edit edit page okay I should have selected the home page but anyway okay close it and then select edit with element all okay now this is a basic tutorial about um, with GoDaddy is managed hosting so I'm not going to go into uh, into too depth too much depth so from here um, you can edit all these options here okay and okay and um, then just save update it here um, you can also add more options here like you want to add a column but that will be a complete different tutorial about elementor so i will create a series about elementor and woocommerce plugin so um if i have already created it when you're watching this video there should be a link somewhere on the top uh, of the playlist and from here you can um, add more blocks here like let's select the about There should be some blocks, pages here. Okay, maybe this template doesn't allow. So all, there's some issue. Let's try it. Refresh it. Okay, it will take two three minutes. So um, I don't for some reason the blocks didn't load it, but. Um, all right let's close it but um this is how you do it um so i will cover it in full depth in my other video so that will be um all about elementor and woocommerce so let's close it right now and um, then close this and i will show you now how to customize everything go to dashboard and now 
what you have to do is first run the setup okay and then um, that's the main thing you will have to run to configure and then you will see all the options okay click on yes please and it will take you to the setup wizard and from here you can um, tell uh, fill everything that is required okay and then that's how simple it is and um, I will show you then how to add uh, products and inventories and manage all that stuff from here go to products all products and here you can see all this are all the sample products that were imported with the template so what you can do is just select all then go to bulk action and move to bin to delete everything and then add new products from here go to add new okay here just put your product name here uh, product image and um, then from here you can um, select that uh, product data it's a simple product or which what kind of product it is um, if it's a normal product then just select it simple product if it's a virtual uh, if it is downloadable okay like if it is a PDF file or something okay then you can select this option then you can uh, put your price here sale price and uh, go to attributes uh, from here you can manage the inventory then shipping options kg and everything okay if you run the setup wizard then um, you will see the option of changing this price and you can also do that manually but um, i will show that will that will make the video too long so i will cover that in the other video and um, there are all the options are available here and then here you can add the product description okay and once you are done that what you have to do is go and publish it and then it will it will be available here in the all products section so i will show you like if i go to edit it you can see here how it is um, done this is the product name and this is the description text okay and uh, this is the price you can edit it here uh, you can change it and the stock status is in stock and if it is out of stock or anything you can do that here and basically that's pretty much how simple it is to create an e-commerce store and um, i know this is not a super comprehensive tutorial but um, for that i have decided to create a separate video so that anyone searching for woocommerce or um, element or tutorial can find them and um, watch them so instead of making a one long video i will create videos on um, several topics so that will make it easier to find and um, you know and uh, follow the tutorial so i hope you found this video somewhat useful and um, please leave your comment in the uh, feedback in the comment section and leave a like and um, if i have created more videos about this topic um, they should be available in the description and um, on the top cards so i will see you in the next video